City Chiefs are Super Bowl champions. After a roller coaster ride of a game, they beat the Philadelphia Eagles by just a field goal. Mark Spillane joins us live from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. How about that game, Mark? Oh my gosh, Chris. You can't ask for many better games than that, right? A little bit anticlimactic with a couple of kneel downs before the game winning field goal, but everything leading up to it pretty darn good, don't you think? It was looking kind of dire for the Chiefs at halftime, down 24-14. Patrick Mahomes limping off the field, as you just showed a little earlier in the show, kind of wondering what are they going to look like after the half? Well, they look like the Chiefs we've come to know over the last five years. Patrick Mahomes looked a lot better. He was moving just fine. Andy Reid dialing up some fantastic play calls. The Chiefs scoring on every single one of their second half possessions on the way to the comeback win. We should have known by now that double-digit deficits don't really mean anything to this offense as the Chiefs capture their second Super Bowl championship in the last four seasons. Patrick Mahomes now a two-time Super Bowl champ and a two-time Super Bowl MVP, well on his way to being one of the all-time greats, Chris. Mark, what do you think this does for Patrick Mahomes' legacy? I mean, we thought he would, Chiefs fans, we were sitting next to him, a few of them in the newsroom, thought maybe he could be out, and he comes back and they scored on every single possession. I mean, it's hard to argue with the results, right? It's the best five-year start to any quarterback's career that we've ever seen. Two MVPs, two Super Bowls, two Super Bowl MVPs, a third Super Bowl appearance. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself because there have been so many great quarterbacks that have played this game. But you do have to recognize the fact that if Mahomes can just put together better than average numbers for the rest of his career. He's already on the trajectory to be one of the all-time greats, having accomplished what he already has. He's one of just 13 super, or 13 quarterbacks ever, I should say, to win multiple, multiple Super Bowls. And the guy hasn't even turned 30 years old yet. He's got a few more years before he even gets to that point. I think his legacy is locked in as one of the best ever already, and he's probably just going to add to it. Yeah, Mark, once you get to those two Super Bowls, that's rarefied air. A lot of quarterbacks with one can't wait to see the rest of his career unfold. What a night we just had tonight. Absolutely. We'll have a little bit more coming up in sports with some post-game reaction from Mizzou's Nick Bolton, a touchdown scorer in this game, and the man who kicked the game-winning field goal, Harrison Butker. Chris, I'll send it back to you.